Let's return now to events in Syria. We'll talk to Afshin Shahi via Skype in Leeds. He's a lecturer in Middle East politics and international relations at Bradford University. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. Uh, so these attacks uh, on this particular area in Damascus that we've seen, tell us about the significance of that and why it's an important uh, part of Damascus and, and, and that area. You have to remember that this kind of protracted conflict uh, is taking place on so many different levels, as well as kind of the proxy, as well as double proxy nature of the conflict. There is a multifaceted propaganda war uh, taking place uh, in uh, Syria. And what happened today in Damascus obviously has a lot of uh, uh, propaganda and symbolic values. Uh, for uh, for the Islamic State. Uh, Sayyid Zainab is a very important uh, religious site uh, for a uh, Shiites. Uh, and if you do look at the legitimizing narratives of the key allies uh, of uh, President Assad, like Hezbollah and Iran, they initially said they're going to enter uh, this conflict in order to protect uh, the Shia sites like Sayyid Zainab, which is only six miles away uh, from uh, the center of uh, Damascus. So anytime ISIS, and this has been happening actually quite frequently, this year at least there has been kind of three major incidents in the same area. So anytime there is an incident like this, uh, it basically creates a huge source of embarrassment for the key allies uh, in uh, the key allies of the Syrian regime, like Iran and Hezbollah. And obviously, particularly for Iran, it has some serious uh, internal uh, political implications. We have to remember that now. Uh, the cost of the cost of war uh, for the Iranian regime is rising and is rising very fast. At least about seven uh, seven hundred Iranian uh, soldiers have been killed, uh, and some sources suggested that about fifteen hundred. Uh, I beg your pardon. A third of uh, Hezbollah uh, fighters either have been killed or injured this war. So any incident yeah. like this yeah. can have a serious propaganda value. Uh, for uh, for the Islamic State. What about, I mean, you, about, is, Islamic State or ISIL has uh, claimed responsibility. Uh, where does this fit, though, into their overall strategy? And how, um, what kind of ground are they on at the moment? Are they under pressure in Syria? Or do you think that they're actually not being put under pressure at all at the moment from the, from the attacks on them? Yeah, I mean, this is, this is a very uh, important moment because, as we speak, they are under a great deal of pressure in Syria, in places like Bandaj, as well as Iraq, in places like Fallujah, as well as Libya. Uh, so at the time that they're dealing with a great deal of difficulty, if they could orchestrate an incident like this, only six miles away uh, from the center of Damascus, they just wanted to portray and demonstrate the fact that, despite the fact that they are under a great deal of difficulty, they still can uh, flex their muscles. And obviously what happened this morning in Damascus is not going to change kind of the strategic nature of this protracted conflict. But as I mentioned early on, it has a lot of propaganda value. It, it certainly is going to uh, provide some inspiration for uh, ISIS fighters who are under a lot of pressure at the moment. So they can say, okay. despite the difficulties, we still can actually create uh, difficulties for the Syrian regime right in the heart of the capital. Afshin Shahi, thank you very much indeed for your thoughts on that. Thank you.